okay hi everyone thank you so much for coming to this live you guys i put out a video today talking about how to do greenhouse effect so for those of you that don't know what greenhouse effect is greenhouse effect is a way to keep your hair moisturized and um if you have very very dry hair you can also use it as a method to help with hair growth retention so i got messages in my comment area and people were talking about how they used to do greenhouse effect and it caused their scalp to have um, issues they got dandruff they had so much mold and stuff going on so before i even go further let me just demonstrate what greenhouse effect is using my mannequin okay sorry for the noise so when you do greenhouse effect you first start off you can start off by there are different ways you can do it you can just get a plastic cap like this and just cover your hair with it by you doing that you are trapping heat in your hair right so that is one way you can do greenhouse effect and you just keep it on you can put on your bonnet you can put on the cap you can just go about your day and um, the heat your body heat will create a heat environment so that you kind of sweat it out through your scalp and it will keep your hair moisturized. At the end of the day, you take it out off. Another way you can do greenhouse effect is if you spray, you can spray your water, okay? You can get your moisturizer. So you can get your moisturizer, put your moisturizer on the hair, especially at the ends of the hair, and then cover up the hair and then um, wear your bonnet and whatsoever and you can do it that way you can also do it on the wigs of course so yeah but thank you everyone that is coming to this live i appreciate you i don't know why the live chat just went off so now let me explain why your process of doing your greenhouse effect why it caused you issues so if you're someone that you are doing greenhouse effect and you are doing it every single day you are going to have scalp issues if you are doing it every i'm repeating myself if you are doing it every single day you're going to have scalp issues you don't want to do greenhouse effect every single day you want to do if you have just normal hair and just want to routinely do it you want to do it once a week if you have dry hair you can do it twice a week if you're someone that you have low porosity hair, greenhouse effect is actually really, really good for you because it allows the product to penetrate into your hair. If you're someone that you have dry hair, yes, it's good for you too. Now, if you're someone that you have um, loose hair, your hair is very soft, very light, it is not, so, yeah, let me, before, before YouTube takes the comment away. Oh, Doretha, good evening. So if you're someone that you have loose hair, your hair is not thick, your hair is just very limpy, then you're not the right person to do greenhouse effect because it's going to weigh down your hair. So you don't want to do it. So some people can do greenhouse effect, whereas some people cannot. If you're doing greenhouse effect, I'm going to repeat myself, and you're, you have a scalp condition. If you have a pre-existing scalp condition, you should not be doing greenhouse effect. You should first treat your scalp condition because sometimes some people will do greenhouse effect. They'll saturate their scalp with oil and stuff. You shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be saturating your scalp with oil. I actually stopped using oils all over my scalp lately just because for me, you know, it. I didn't need to. And my scalp produced its right amount of oils. So just be mindful, greenhouse effect is not for everybody. You use it accordingly. If you have scalp issues, if you are prone to having scalp issues and you already know you've had an history of scalp issues, you shouldn't do anything to kind of um, fester any creation of, according to people, bacteria. If you do it once a day, you really shouldn't worry because by the time you do it once a day, you go overnight, you're actually not doing it if you sleep 8 hours, 10 hours. You do it okay and you come back you wake up in the morning you take it off you're not doing it for the whole 24 hours 
And that's where people make the mistake of overdoing it. So I want to say a big thank you to everyone for watching. If you've watched so far, please click the like button. You can click the thanks button to thank <laughs> me. If you want a one-on-one -on -one with me, send me a message at my email is always in the description info at discoverynatural.com oh i nearly missed that message okay so let me say hello to okay jacqueline hi jacqueline hi doretha caroline hi loving life with lane says good evening my sister accused accused me uh, oh advice is that advice my oh my sister advised me wrongly she was advising me to do greenhouse effect daily. I was sleeping with damp hair, wearing a cap and bonnet. Oh, wow, that is wrong. Mina, hi, hi. So that is very wrong. You shouldn't be doing greenhouse effects. If you talk to a trichologist, a dermatologist, and to ask them about greenhouse effect, like a trichologist, um, they will tell you that it's good, but you shouldn't be doing it more than once or twice a week, right? And that is what works for me um, daily. If you're someone that you are just wanted to create a bacterial area, yeah, so you no problem. But um, yeah, as I was saying, you can contact me and um, we can chit chat about what's going on with your hair. And yeah, so thank you so much, everyone. I hope this helps you out. And um, it's been a long time I've come live like this. And I hope to do some more in the future. I usually go live a lot on Facebook. <laughs> Facebook is just so convenient. YouTube, you got to set up all this stuff. But thank you, guys. You guys are lovely. You're wonderfully made. And I appreciate you for everything. We'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye. Take care, guys. Bye.